Bedtime Stories with Mrs. Houston and Friends presents I Wanna Guana by Karen Kaufman Orloff and David Catro. What kind of pet would you like? I definitely wouldn't want an iguana. I'd want a dragonfly. Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky, and Stinky's dog Lurch will eat it. And you don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate. But I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, did you know that iguanas are really quiet? And they're cute, too. I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, Tarantulas are quiet, too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Hmm. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Hey, if you want some extra credit, why don't you look up iguanas and give me ten facts on them? Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me. I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love, your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love, your concerned mother. Another idea for extra credit would be to look up how to care for an iguana. Dear Mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. The iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love, your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. And what fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach you tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took the class fish home? Love, Mom. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump in the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover off the jar. Love your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Guanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, Mom. Dear Mom, I would feed him every day. He eats lettuce. And I would make sure he had enough water. And I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Dear Alex, a trial basis means Dad and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember... Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. 
Dear Mom, I really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyway? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I want a guana, please. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the third idea that you could do for some extra credit is to write another persuasive letter to your mom. Remember, persuasion means you're trying to convince someone of something. I hope you loved this book because I certainly did. Now go to sleep. Good night.